report prepared for the city of Adelaide in October 1978, the Northeast Area Public Transport Review came up with a proposal for a light rail transit system. In 1978, this was the city of Adelaide and the black areas uh, where future development would occur. As we now know, in 2014 that development has occurred. So here the city of Adelaide. This land here was going to be the Mobbury Freeway under the, what we call the Mats Plan. And here is an area of land which was seen was going to be developed. And further along here we can see there's a whole series of housing which we now know has gone ahead. And there's a logical thing where the, this corridor through here would extend through there. The City of Adelaide Corporation, of course, is concerned about how this proposal would fit in with its area, the City of Adelaide. This is Victoria Square, here's Hindmarsh Square, here is the Adelaide Oval, and this is Lower North, North Adelaide, and here is the start of the Mobbury, what was going to be the Mobbury Freeway, and as we now know was the O-Barn. And this is the route which the state government had proposed going alongside McKinnon Parade and going out. This area here is parklands and this side is, is houses and this side is the parkland. Here is the River Torrens. The City of Adelaide consultants came up with an alternative where it would go past the Adelaide Oval and then with some tunnels near the Children's Hospital would go and pop up in Stanley Street and then through another tunnel would then go and join on to what we now know as the O-Barn. That was one proposal that the City of Adelaide came up with. The other proposal is to go through Hindmarsh Square and Renfrew Street and then under the, under the parklands, get on to what we now know as the inner ring route. And then above ground go through there. Now what's proposed in 2014 is, because there's so much congestion here at North Terrace Extension, that they're going to put a tunnel. Now the question is, where is this tunnel going to go? The current version of the tunnel actually is coming along North Terrace and then East Terrace and getting into Randall Street here. The problem with this particular route is all this land here belongs to one very large school, so not many houses will ever be built there. And this is, is a, a parkland. Botanic Garden, Botanic Park and Botanic Gardens. So the number of people who use this area on a daily basis is quite small even though it's a lot used during festivals. This proposal here, or that proposal there, brings you past the Entertainment Centre, the Oval and quite a lot of housing. So probably these two, this route or that route, probably would be better ways of getting transport from the northeast suburbs and beyond into the city and have some use. So this is the way they were going to handle Victoria Square back in 1978. So this is King William Street and tram light rail come in this way and at that stage there actually used to be a tram barn here, a depot, so the tracks 
makes sense. So that uh, area now is is um, gymnasiums and and uh, South Australian water building. And as we know, the tram goes along this side in 2014 up and down tracks for the tram. Back in 1978 they are proposing to have separate tracks. This is what it looked like in Long North Adelaide at Man Terrace and Bundy's Road showing where there were existing tennis courts and trees and where the trams would have gone. In their planning they looked at other cities. This is what the light rail or trams looks like in parts of Vienna. Munich, trams in Zurich, Switzerland, Amsterdam, This is looking at how the light rail would have gone through the suburb of St. Peter, St. Peter's. So on this side of the river is, is um, St. Peter's and on this side is Gilberton and Walkerville. And so you can see there are one, the central one going down 9th Avenue, another one going through private property between 8th and 9th Avenue. Another option going through here, and uh, the third option is actually the one that was actually done, involved building lots of bridges, so that it crosses the river here, there. So there's quite a lot of bridges have to be built because we're crossing the river, and that's the one which was actually used. And instead of building light rail, the uh, Liberal government, which was in power, decided to build system using buses in a guided busway which they had seen in Essen where the trams had been taken underground and in Germany in Essen they tried running buses and trams through the same tunnels. What happened here in Adelaide is we took one idea which was the guided rail for buses and did it above ground at high speed and this is the the route actually which is taken. So this now is what happened later when instead of trams they come up with a busway. And you can see here this is the city of Adelaide. And the busway follows normal roads and at this point it then goes onto a reserve right of way. Interestingly just here at Hold Hill we can see there's a provision for a branch for a busway going through here which is later on became a major road and around here going to Albury. So they were thinking ahead of alternative extensions of the busway back in 1978-79. So back in 1979 this is looking at tunnels. So tunnels are shown with dashes. So one proposal for a busway was a tunnel going under North Adelaide, which didn't happen, and the other one is for the, the tunnel here. And the tunnels would then continue through the city and go out to the western suburbs. That's their proposal in 1979. Another proposal then was also dealing with railways going. Northfield because at that, day, at that time there was actually a rubber line here to Northfield from World War II when there are various factories, munitions factories here and there's a possibility with the open land at that stage you'd have a railway and then here you could have a tunnel. The proposal was a tunnel which would go uh, under Grand Junction Road and get into the plaza but it's interesting to have a tunnel there and then from Northfield come around here and then get onto the main Gawler line and come into the city around this way and there's the city, that's the Adelaide railway station. Another proposal was to actually look at using the main North Road and uh, having light rail running down the middle of, presumably it doesn't say, the middle of the lower of uh, 
main well, northeast road. So we've got alternative ways from the city, and this is then northeast road and getting out the two flowers on the northeast road.